Hello and welcome, this is Alistair Christie and in this quick tutorial we're going to have a look at using calculated fields and the difference between calculated and internal calc. Anyway, on with the show. What we have here is the classic BioLife example and I've removed most of the fields and, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to add two new fields. The first one is called calc. It's a string, it's size 30 and it's calculated. And the second one is called int calc. And also string and 30 characters, but I'm going to make it an internal calculated field. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the common name and reverse it and put that in the calculated field. So to do that, we need to go to the onCalc events or onCalc field event. And in here, we need to write a little bit of code. So let's assign the data set calc field to be reverse string oh, and we need. string utils. Field by name. A string. And yep, that's right. and int calc to be the same. Now of course this doesn't do anything at runtime, or rather at design time, but at runtime we get our reversed strings. Now I'm going to add a little bit more code so that we can explain things a little bit further. What I'm going to do is um, go Ink cal count, and we will declare that as a field, and it's an integer, and ink um, cal count. Also a field. Now we want to set those to zero initially, and we'll do that on the on before open. And I'm just going to add a Timer and I'll make it every hundred milliseconds and in the event. It's a rather boring variable name, but format. Um, and and hopefully if I've typed all that incorrectly we run that we get the fact that our calculated fields are done 36 times and if we scroll around that goes up. Now with internally calculated fields, in the um, on calc fields event, we can go if 
data set state equals ds uh, internal calc. Oops, then begin. So if the state is an in, in internal calc, we um, do our internal calculated uh, field. Otherwise, we do well, and we do the other one all the time. So if we run this now, we'll see that our internal calc is only 28, but our uh, normally calculated field is 36, and it goes up. And if we make a change, Red Emperor 2, for instance, uh, this one, the calculated field changes immediately, but the internally calculated field only changes when we save. Uh, let's and as you can see, the internally calculated field happens far less frequently. So basically, if you're wanting to do um, calculated fields that require a lot more well, calculation, uh, internal calculated fields are much more useful. Okay, in addition to that, if uh, we go to our client data set and have a look at the index field names and set that to calc, we get a an error, but we can set it to int calc. And, of course, nothing happens at design time, but if we run it, it's now sorted by our internally calculated field. Um, so that's quite quite handy. Um, and we can also do fancier things. We can uh, use our internally calculated fields in filters as well. So I can say um, int calc like uh, d begins with lowercase d and run that. Oh, of course, nothing happens because I need to filter true. Uh, of course, our internally calculated field has nothing initially, but if we run it, we get our uh, two fields that begin with D. As always, I hope you find the information presented here useful, even though it's not comprehensive, nor, some might argue, coherent. Anyway, until next time.